Never, ever go out like that. You lose control of the process in the first tenth of a second because where do you think the customer's eyes are going? Right here. They ain't hearing a word you're saying. That's right. They're all over these numbers, which yeah. is the same thing all of us would do if someone put down a proposal like that. We'd be looking at the numbers we wouldn't be hearing. You need to, you, you're, you'll hear this, Michael, a lot. You need to maintain control. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't mean you control people. If I'm trying to control you, what's your natural response? To resist. To resist, push back, blow out. But we should control our process. This is a home game right here. We're not at the customer's house. They're at our house. We should control our process, and part of controlling the process, um, well, it starts at meet and greet, but this is where most salespeople lose control because they're taught by morons. <clears throat> if I want David to pay me all the money for the vehicle, should I include all the value? Okay, um, nobody does. I'm going to spend 30 to 45 seconds reminding David about everything that comes with this Rogue. Now help me out because I don't sell Nissans. Um, with this Rogue, I'm going to get a 36 month, 36,000 mile comprehensive warranty, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. Mm -hmm. With this Rogue, I'm going to get a 560 powertrain warranty, correct? Factory powertrain, yes sir. Factory powertrain, and then with this Rogue, I'm also going to get a lifetime powertrain warranty, correct? Yes sir. With this Rogue, I'm going to get roadside assistance for three years, 36,000 miles? Okay, I'm paying for roadside assistance for two of my daughters because they don't—they're not under warranty. I can tell you, it's—it's it's only about seventy-two bucks a year, but three times seventy-two—that's two hundred and ten dollars and two hundred and sixteen dollars. Mm -hmm. if, if someone walks up to you in a bar tonight and gives you two hundred and sixteen bucks, would you like them? Yeah. Yeah, you would. Okay, as long as they're not trying to pay you for sex. All right. So you're paying warranty for five years, unlimited mileage. Um, no, no, there is no paint warranty. There's a corrosion warranty. That's what I mean. Per yeah. Perforation. Yeah, there, there, there's a. You know, we don't want. Uh, what I want to do is I want to touch on the things that are most important because you know speed is important sure. here. Sure. Okay. Am I going to get serious radio with my uh, rogue? Ninety days. Ninety days. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get lifetime warranty. Lifetime warranty. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Lifetime state inspections. Mm -hmm. Totally. Multi point. Multi point inspection. In a lifetime friendship with me. <laughs> By the way, does this stuff have value? Yes, yes. Have value. absolutely. No yeah. shit. The next time you you want to see how much value this warranty has, this thirty six thirty six. Next time someone's grinding you, say, "Hey, I got an idea. I think we can knock another two thousand bucks off this vehicle." Watch their face light up. You just don't get the uh, comprehensive warranty. Is that cool? Watch their face change. They won't buy the car. So I don't know what the warranty is worth, but it's worth at least two thousand mm -hmm. dollars. The lifetime powertrain is worth a lot. The roadside assistance worth a couple, you know, a couple hundred bucks. Sirius Radio, what is it, twelve ninety five or something? If you've got you to pay for it, so it says thirty six dollars. Mm -hmm. All right. Lifetime oil changes. I, you know, what's it cost me to get a rogue? Uh, if I go back there and pay retail, what's the oil change? Forty five. Forty five. Is that right? So I drive 15,000 miles a year, so let's say I'm going to get two a year, I'm going to keep my car five years. That's $450 worth of oil changes you're going to give me. Why are, why are we, now I know what you're thinking, here's, what, here's the standard objection I get from car people. Well shit Steve, we would have told them about all this stuff earlier. Yeah, you might have. You gotta go back over. Well, does the customer retain everything you say? No. They don't even hear everything you say. <laughs> yeah, when you're when you're talking when you're gonna talk money, you gotta make sure you got all the value. Right. Yeah, I, and I think you gotta touch on that too. You gotta if you after you you've talked to the customer and you've learned the customer, their hot buttons on the car. Remember remember that the, the GPS system you so you like so much and how and how well it worked mm -hmm. and how easy it was. You know, you're getting those. I think you touch on those things along I, with absolutely it. Absolutely, yes, because that's called dragging some emotion into an otherwise logical situation. Tell me this. Don't bullshit me. In fact, uh, David, you're probably the only one that can answer it. Um, I know you're stunned. <laughs> I know you, but on a busy Saturday around here, okay, you come back, you come back from the demonstration ride. Mm -hmm. All right, we park the car. 
-hmm. How long might it take to get the numbers to the customer? Um, it depends on if I've already done an appraisal on their car. But okay, let, let's let's say we have done. No, let, let, yeah, let's say that you have done the appraisal. Uh, 10, 15 minutes. Okay, 10 or 15 minutes is very good, by the way. It could be longer, more than likely on a, on a Saturday. It's probably longest is when we're, we're in a day where, like sleep. right now, right this morning, if, if they had three customers working, it could take more than 15 it minutes. It could take 30 minutes. Because there's only one sales, there's only one manager up there. But when there's two or three of us going, you know, our time is usually pretty good. Quicker is better. Absolutely. Because what, take, yeah, what, yeah, what takes place between the demonstration drive and, and by the time you bring them up? Logical thought kicks in. Emotion when I'm driving the road smells good. You never forget this. Chances are the customers drive the nicest vehicle they've ever driven in their entire lives mm -hmm. yeah. on that demonstration ride. You're used to them, okay? The customer's not. But so that emotion is high when they get off that demonstration ride, but it is moving downwards from that point on. It's logical. I okay, so I'm going to go out to David. I'm going to remind him about what he liked most about the vehicle. In fact, one of my thing, one of the things I say is, "Hey, David, there's no such thing as the uh, as a good deal on the wrong car. I'm um, the rogue you picked out. First choice of color, correct? Absolutely. Equipped just the way you said it had to be equipped. Just what I want. Um, around that first curve, what'd you say about it? it hands really nice. Okay, um, this is the right vehicle. It is. All right. Um, look, there's going to be no surprises on here. The numbers you saw on the internet are going to be exactly the same number they're going to be on here. But I do want to remind you about a couple things that come with this road because you're not just not, you're just not getting the road. First of all, and by the way, I'm always writing and talking at the same time. Okay. I write and talk for two reasons. I'll tell you why in just a second. First of all, you're going to get a 36 month, 36,000 mile comprehensive warranty, which means no money is coming out of your pocket for an automobile repair for the foreseeable future. Nissan is going to provide you a five-month, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, which means no big money is coming out. And we're going to provide, on top of that, a lifetime powertrain warranty, which means as long as you own that vehicle, that powertrain is covered, including the seals and gaskets, which are the most likely thing to fail. Um, roadside assistance. A lot of my customers find that they're paying for it on their physical damage insurance or paying for it on their mobile phone bill. Check both of those. If you're paying for it, quit it. You've got it coming from Nissan for the next three years of 36,000 miles. Sirius Radio, you're going to love it. It comes complimentary for the first 90 days, and at the end of that 90 days, they'll make you an offer to, uh, to you know, carry on. Um, lube oil and filter. In most people that drive like you do are going to spend somewhere between four and five hundred bucks on oil changes over the next five years. You're going to pay absolutely nothing. State inspections, you're going to pay absolutely nothing. Okay? Here is your opportunity. You own it for 25, 522. Now what that includes is a $2,000 rebate. And also, we love your gremlin. We'll buy it for 250 bucks. You throw your taxes in, you own it for 27, 136 out the door. I'll need your okay right there so we can get your vehicle ready for delivery. Pardon me. No, no, no. Object. Say, Steve, come on, you ain't discounted that thing from a penny I saw on the internet. Yeah, see, that's the internet price, man. I, I came here for, you said I was going to do a great deal on the car. What were we doing? Okay, I understand. And th this is where I would have had to have had the conversations we just role played with him earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay? David, I understand. My man, you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. You're doing exactly what you've always done. You've always had to negotiate with the car dealer to get a good price, right? We had a talk about an hour and a half ago, and I told you that things had changed. I told you that you were a winner before you got here, because if we didn't make you a winner before you got here, you wouldn't get here. I told you that the discounts you had to fight for in the past, we now give to you up front. We pre-discounted this vehicle. It included the $2,000 rebate. That's what attracted you here. But what you're doing, David, I understand. It's the way you've always done it. You just don't need to do it that way anymore. Now, I promised you two things. Number one, I promised you that we'd have a pretty good time. You've had a pretty good time, right? Yes. Number two, I promised you this would be the fastest purchase experience of your life. And um, you're trying to help me break that promise because you're slowing us down. I need your okay right there.